Oh, hey. Thanks, Alexandra. <laughs> you know, it's that time of the year again for fresh fruits and veggies and good entertainment. Shreveport Farmer Market kicks off June 2nd, that's Saturday at 7, 8 o'clock. We have some guests here with us this weekend. Now, Fowler Sandlin, how was good to see you again? Good to see you, Ed. I was already excited <laughs> for the Farmer's Market. I brought a three-generation uh, group of sellers here. I have Cece San Angelo, Sherry Heron, and Bailey Heron, who produce these lovely pickles, jams, and veggies. Wow, excellent. All right, now let's start off, though, with the details first about the Farmer's Market. How many vendors are going to be out there? Because they're booked. We have about 155 booths full. Okay. There's, so there'll be a lot of options out there. There is, and I want people to realize it's not just one pavilion. We have two pavilions, just like going to the Revel or Mudbug. That whole plaza is full of wonderful things. It, is that unusual to have the two pavilions still? It's our second year for it. Okay. Uh, it's just a testament to how much we've grown and how popular we are with the folks here in Shreveport. Good. All right, Cece, what are you going to be selling? I do the vegetables and I do the pickles. Really? Now, are those all grown in your garden? Yeah, not my backyard garden, okay. but our garden. Your garden. Wow, that's, that's impressive. You know what kind of vegetables are you going to have there on Saturday? There'll be tomatoes and bell peppers and cucumbers and zucchini and squash and on and on. Wow. Well, how's the growing season been for you? Because it's kind of dry out there. It's dry and cold start. Mm, okay. Cool night kept it sunny. Really? So the vegetables are going to be smaller? No, they're, they're all right. They're all right? They're all right now. How long does it take to pickle some stuff? Because I was looking at this. These are homemade dill pickles. Yes, sir. These, these are better than what you buy at the store. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, I can do seven cases a day. Really? Or more. <laughs> if what? I get rolling. And how long do they have to set for before they're ready to be sold? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks to let it marinate right. a little bit? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Who, who did all the jams? My daughter is the jelly maker. Ah. I don't jelly. You don't jelly. I don't jelly. You just I pickle. I taught her how to jelly. I taught her how to jelly, so I don't have to jelly. <laughs> how long does it take to get these jellies ready? I can do, I can do about... Three cases. Three cases. Mm -hmm. That's that's impressive. And, and I'm looking at there's mayha, there's blackberry. Blackberries are really good this year. I know they were nice and big and plump and everything. Very good, very good. You ready for the farmers market? I am. You are. What's what's so neat about the farmers market? Um, for you? it's nice getting out and seeing everybody, yeah. getting to meet new people and selling stuff. And Bailey is also my right hand there. I mean, when I get in a jam, Bailey is right there to help me out. So she's, she's a, a jammer and a jam preventer. So she's the one who carries the big stick. Well, I sometimes. Ring the <laughs> I ring the bell and I start it off and I end it and I just help everybody. Good. Number. What are the hours? The hours on Saturdays are seven to noon, mm -hmm. and then we have a Tuesday market that runs from June fifth to July seventeenth, and that one's from three in the afternoon to six in the evening. And the Tuesday one isn't as big as the Saturday one. No, it's not because the sun comes in and just beats us down, so we have to actually reduce the size of it just to keep people from burning up. Yeah. And uh, but it's it's still bigger than it's ever been in the past. Yeah, and you'll find a little bit of everything at the farmers market. Last year I had beignets. I was able to taste some wine. Watch them with some shell black eyed peas, you know, whatever you need, you'll find down there. Don't eat before you come, don't All drink right. coffee. It's all there for all you. There for you. Alright, no one's gonna be sticking around because when we come back after this break, we're gonna have much more on this year at the Market. <laughs> Welcome back to the KTBS3 7 a.m. news on KTXJ CW21. Welcome back, everyone. We're back talking more about the Shreveport Farmers Market that kicks off this Saturday. Joining us now is Matt and Derek Academy, the ranch managers from Shady Grove Ranch in Jefferson, Texas, along with Noma Fowler Sandlin, talking about the farmers market that's happening Saturday. Thanks y'all for coming in. Who's your bring with you? This is Axel Cadman. Ah, our second. This is our newest version. The newest version. <laughs> that's right. So, what are y'all bringing to the farmers market? Oh, we're going to be bringing uh, grass-fed beef, uh, pastured pork, chicken, eggs, and we do turkeys by order only for Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas time. So, this will be fresh meat right off the ranch. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Grown in Jefferson, Texas, about 60, 60 minutes from here. And you, you have freezers that you hook up. Yeah, we bring uh, bring six freezers on our trailer okay. and, and coolers and everything. Oh, the guy still likes the camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of a jumpy little guy. Kind of a jumpy. No, this is important because there is such a wealth of items to buy at the farmer's market. It's not just vegetables and fruits. No, if you count produce, plants, honey, and meat, that's 45 to 50 percent of our market this mm -hmm. year. So that covers a lot. And then in addition to that, we have the crafts and the baked goods and the canned goods. 
Wow. Is this your first year, or have you, or have you been there before? Uh, we had our first full year last year. And, and what was the success of selling and selling the meat? We were very pleased. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people were surprised. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, we, we did have an article done on us last year, so there was a good amount of people that were ready for us. But before that, we were... So if you're heading down there and you want to buy some meat, make sure that you have a cooler, maybe some blue lights in there to keep the meat frozen. Yeah, you know, I mean, the, the meat's all at, you know, it's below zero, so if you just need to throw it in the car and run home, it's not going to fall anytime soon. All right, but if you spend your time going through the two pavilions, you may want to have some zero to keep it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we do occasionally hold things for people, so that's every chance you want to buy and, and then come back. So if you want to make a pre-order, I, 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 I do want to make a pre-order. Don't forget to pick it up, because you'll be really oh, I'm going to be getting some Saturday. Oh, well, that's right. Noma, Noma will deliver. She can find the baby. Oh, <laughs> um, Noma, do we do they need to have an ATM on site? And oh, hey. they're able to take the, the credit cards and debit cards now. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much. Good luck to you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. it. Yeah. Noma, good luck to you, too. Thank you. Hope to see you there. All right. Here with us, we're coming back with much more news right after this. Mm -hmm.